That whipping wind and street flooding is also causing big problems up and down Florida's coast. News 6's Troy Campbell is in Volusia County tonight. At one point, Daytona Beach police say there were 13 streets that were flooded out, but that didn't stop drivers from careening down those streets that looked more like canals. The worst of the rain fell during the Friday evening rush hour as commuters raced to get home. Video from South Daytona shows it's not just the roads, but entire yards underwater. Up the coast in Flagler Beach, high winds knocked down power lines. Utility crews braved the weather to restore power to surrounding communities. High tide came up to the edge of the retaining walls. This video shot mid-afternoon on Christopher Court in Palm Coast. An important reminder from police, don't drive in water with an unknown depth. It could cause the vehicle to stall out or worse, be swept away. In Daytona Beach, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Flooding is proving to be an issue all over the state. Take a look at the high water in downtown St. Augustine. Our sister station in Jacksonville says the fire department has been called in to help several boats. And take a look at this video from Fort Lauderdale. You're looking at A1A just south of Sunrise. Those cars still made it through the intersection, but that is a lot of water.